Hello Spartans, welcome back to another historical battle on Total War Attila. And this one we're going to be doing today is the historical battle of Ravenna, where we'll be playing as a Western Roman Empire against the Western Roman Separatists. We're going to try and defend the capital city of the Empire against this breakaway army. And of course this is the continuation, as I always say, of my Footsteps of Heroes series where I cover historical battles from a number of Total War titles. So let's start the battle now and hopefully we can defend the capital and achieve victory. Come on, let's do it. The Heruli, a Fodoratus of the Western Roman Empire, have revolted. They are led by their king, Odoacer. The remnants of the Roman army in Italy now gather to defend the capital, Ravenna, from Odoacer's advance. The fall of Ravenna would mark the end of Roman rule over Italy. That is therefore why it is vital that we hold this city today and throw everything we've got at these separatists to try and defend the capital of the Western Roman Empire. As if that falls, we are in serious trouble. So let's see what we can do and defend at all costs. So we've got quite a lot of units on this right side over here. So let's bring them across to there because obviously the main force is coming from that direction. There's no other, I think no other army is coming in. It's only that army at the front there. So let's put our Segatarii onto the walls to repel and start firing against the uh, siege towers. Burn them to the ground hopefully. Put them there, right, okay. Um, so group them into group Return one. Please crossbow them as well. Put them on the walls. Yeah, definitely get them onto the walls. Get them onto flaming shot as well in a second. There we go. These slingers, where can they go? So they've got some range to them. We could use them. Yeah, we'll put them in the centre, actually. And then, yeah, the other unit... Of crossbow on that right hand side. Okay, so yeah, we'll group them all together now. Okay, spears, right, spears, spears, spears. They can form up to protect the gatehouse. So get them over there. Okay, one unit of melee swordsmen onto that barricade. Two to go over there to the rear over there. Just in case we need to use them in support, basically. Now the cavalry will split them up, we'll put two on the left flank, two on the right flank, so they can try and pin the enemy down and hit them from their sides if they manage to break into the walls and uh, get into the city. We'll use the cavalry to try and run them down. Let's put two over there. Oh, if I can. It's so hard to position them sometimes. <laughs> Come on, get into position. There we go, put them there. That's good enough. So we'll put these guys a little bit further back, I think. Just out of right, no, we'll, we'll leave them there. Put the right, okay, put the three units there of, of infantry. Um, mounted oh, yeah, you've got, of course we've got mounted artillery, so let's get them sort of out. So they've got one over there. So I'll put that right there, so they can start firing onto those siege towers as well. They'd be vitally important. Where can the other one go? Let's put it over there, I suppose, won't we? Yeah, put it there then. Don't know if you can use it, but it's better than it was over before. So yes, we've got our rear of the city protected by the sea. So the only way these guys can hit us is by that center area here. Full frontal attack. So let's, ca let's crack on now. To your posts, men. Must not fall, indeed it shouldn't. So let's hope to God that's the case. So, as I say, we're going to get our artillery and our skirmishers to go into flaming shot. Get them on position shot, and there's literally barrage the front of those towers to try and burn them to the ground as soon as we can. So, of course, what is playing into our favour here, what is massively playing into our favour is the swampland. Swamp land. It's slowing these guys down. The marshes is making it the enemy are taking a lot longer to get to the walls than they would do usually. So it's giving our artillery and our 
uh, skirmishers a lot more time to try and get their shots off. So nature has played a nice card for us here. Very good indeed. Nature is on our side today. So there we go. Got some decent shots. Oh, oh, is that hit the battering ram? I think it did, didn't it? No, it didn't miss that. Right, what we'll do now is actually, yeah, if they're going to ram these gates down, we're going to put one unit of uh, spears there right in the centre. I think the Lumitari are the best spears we've got in terms of melee defence. We'll put them to the de defensive test to do hold that gate line there. Brace themselves for it. The ram that could be coming across in a second. Oh, great stuff. The tower's... Sorry, not the tower. The, the uh, siege ladder's gone. It's burnt to a sinew. Great start there. Let's try and get this siege tower over on the left-hand side. Oh, nice. Arrows firing into that ladder now, taking a lot of damage, 61%. That should be burning to a crisp in a second as well. Not a bad start so far. Reminding a lot of Helm's Deep, this is the defense of Helm's Deep. Pretty good stuff. Here we go. What I'm worried about as well is those onigers over in the uh, rear of the uh, enemy lines there. They could get some shots off in a second if they're not careful. If we're not careful, sorry. Oh, look at these volleys from the Sagittarii. Really firing off now. Don't fire at the burnt down ladder though. Go for this one. Oh, that one's starting to toast a little bit. 70% damage. That's good. We're doing okay here. We're not doing too bad. Carry this on. We should be alright. Oh, here come the Onigas. They're starting to fire now. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There goes part of the wall. Look at the animal. There goes part of the Sagittari as well. Oh, no. We've lost a lot of men there. We have. Right, we'll bring, unit, we'll bring the both spear units across to try and defend that part of the wall then. Maneuver them across. Right, no spears can get, get around there. Okay, they've got to go down the long way, have they? Because there's barricade, of course. Right, this siege tower is starting to take a lot of damage as well. It's at 90% fire damage. Good stuff. This should go in a second as well. One more that's fallen. Oh, damn it. I think our Onigas have run out of ammunition now. It's all on the skirmishers to do their job. Oh, they're using fight flaming shot now as well, are they? Those Onigas of the enemy. Damn it. They'll be burning our city in a minute. Which is not good for morale. Keep, keep strong, man. Hold your lines. Come on. Right, that's on fire now as well. Great stuff. Go for this one. Oh no! There goes another part of the tower. And here comes the battering ram. It's making pretty good progress towards our gates. Gonna bring these spears back, I think, actually, because we may need to use them in a second. Let's get them over here. In fact, what we'll do is put one at each part of the wall where the enemy, if they get to the walls, they can then come down out of those outlets. So we'll put the spears there to protect them. Or we'll protect those outlets, basically. Oh, looks like we've got rid of that unit that's pushing that ram. Okay, that's not bad. Good start. Well played. Crossbowmen and slingers, you push them away. Uh oh, oh, looks like this siege tower is nearly here. This is not good. Keep firing for long as you can. They've only got two left, I think. Yeah, two two siege towers left. Can you turn around to fire? I don't know if you'll be able to get the angle, will you? If you can, do all you can. Oh, they bring another unit of spear across now to try and support. Germanic spear masters are trying to push that ram to the wall now. 
Want de cage is C. Come on, Onigas. Can you fire at all? Advancing pretty rapidly now. First wave of attack is coming in, really. We must defend this city with everything we've got. Come on. Right, that's it. Fire down upon them. Give them everything you've got there. Volley after volley. Sagatarii defending the walls for everything they've got as well. Oh no, part of the wall has gone again. That is them completely destroyed that unit. They sacrificed themselves. Those brave men. But now the city starts to burn. Let's pull these, this unit of Expolatis back from the barricade there. Need to keep holding. Need to keep holding. Oh, looks like they've got out the walls here. Right, okay. Oh, right, okay. Nice throw. Javelin there. It's taking them out. Right, get them across. Come on. What are you doing? Don't face that way. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, the Testudos are going all over the place here. Right, let's re -four them up again. Now I can't get him into defensive Testudo. What's going on? Oh, Spears, what are you playing at? Right, here come the Germanic Band. Okay. I think we'll have to go for a charge here. Get each two units of Cav across. Try and smash into those units if they can. And here we go. Defend the gates for everything you've got, Spears. Come on. Oh, re -form the line there to try and get those... Sword units over there on the left. Cavalry coming across now to try and push these Germanic warband down. Doing a good job there. 51 out of 160 left. They're going down. But look at the cavalry swarming into the base. Or into the city, I should say. Can these cavalry come across. They can't really do anything because they can't get a direct charge because of our spears are in the way. I think the spears are going to have to hold for as long as they can. Pull the cavalry back out. I didn't lose too many men. Those crossbowmen on the wall are still being able to fire down, so carry that on for as long as you can, guys. Right, reform, go for the charge, I think. Well, one of the units is routing, so they may as well sacrifice themselves. These spears are trying to hold on, but for how long can they? Germanic horsemen are pushing in. Here comes the general as well. But the balance of power is starting to go in our favour a little bit actually. So even though we are defending like mad and losing a few units in the process, we are starting to gain a bit of momentum here actually. The tower has been destroyed. Oh, the city has been destroyed by the looks of things as well. Ravenna must not fall. Okay, general still there in the centre. So you keep holding those units at bay. Right, we'll get that unit of swordsmen to go across to try and deal with that unit of horse there. Come on. It's time to throw everything they've got into this city now. And even more so, the balance of power is time to go in our favour. Right, pull these units across. They defended the uh, gatehouse quite successfully across to hold this line back over there. Right, swords, what are you going to do? I'm going to pull them around this way. I'm going to get them to flank on the left-hand side. They can't get to the right-hand side. So they're going to have to come this way. Come on. All right, we've engaged with that unit of horse there. Bring our cavalry in to support them as well. Oh, the spears are starting to wave a little bit. Come on, hold, hold, hold. What's the situation? Right, the, man, the men count is starting to drop. For the enemy, that is. They had, I think, a thousand more men to start this battle off than we did. So, obviously, we were outnumbered immediately when this uh, engagement started. Right, bring the general across to support that left over there. Spears are starting to waver in the center. Maybe they'll come back in a second. Still, the crossbowmen and the slingers are on the wall there, firing down. Great stuff, guys. Right, they've... They've... Uh, 
That's it, rallied together, so pull them back in. Calvary, get over there. Come on, pick up the pace. Move, 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 move. More the tower. The towers have fallen completely. They've been completely destroyed now, the towers have. And the spears have been taken down, so we must try and push around the back of them now with this cavalry two cavalry units here. And smash them through. The barricade can hopefully hold them off for some time. Okay, what we'll do, because they're gonna come try and take that barricade down, we'll put these two units of swords here to try and hold them off if they do get through the barricade. Well, we use the other units on the left to flank around the rear of them. Right, the crossbow men are coming off, are they? Where the calf? Right, they've nearly got over there now. Come on, move, move, move. Okay, how we doing? Barricade should hold for a while. Gives us the time we need. Right, these three units of cavalry we've got left. Go over here now. Move. Sword units form up. Right, give these guys a volley. Take these sword units down here. Oh, nice. They should waver in a second, these Germanic swordsmen. Quick firing from the crossbowmen, I hope. Right, four, go, 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 go for a charge against these Germanic nobles. Take the general down, you take him down, then we get a real good chance then of winning this battle because that will affect morale massively. Just lining up for them now. Right, they're ready. Two units are go, ready to go. Go for it now while you've got the momentum. Move, charge, charge, charge against the Germanic nobles. Drop him, drop him, drop him. Yes, they're going down pretty quickly there. Third wave of cavalry coming in now. Pull the other two out. Give them room for this one to go in. Yeah, they're routing now. Awesome. Get them all to surround the general. If we take him down, as I say, that will be surely game over at that point. Look at the balance of power completely going in our favour now. It hasn't been a clean battle, but we've definitely, I think, grinded out a victory here. And ultimately, we have defended the city against the Separatists, which is the main thing. Germanic nobles are breaking apart now. General's not dead yet, yet I don't think. Pull those cover units through now. They should waver then, and they should get this unit of spear masters down. At least the sent hasn't broken. Yeah. Panic has hit home. General unit as General's unit has wavered. As I say, I don't think the general's dead yet, though. But I think we've done it, guys. We've successfully defended the city of Ravenna against the enemy, against the Separatists. We can now pour out the city to take out the remaining units of skirmishers. And I think we can safely say it's a GG, it's a victory for the Western Roman Empire. Let's finish off the remaining units now. Come on, let's clean up the mess. Anyway, General's dead. That's it. Surely that's it now. Game over. Victory is ours. Yes, we have defended the city. Wonderful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. This is a sorry called Battle. If you have, please do drop it a like. And I shall be back very soon with another. But until then, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell.